solid as a rock. The button's pretty solid. Not much, no, no play in them really. None, I wouldn't say any, actually. It's gonna be good. Shell thick, I mean, yeah, it's thickish. It's no Zowie, it's uh, reasonable. Like, look at the shell, you can tell. It's average now for weight reduction. Like, you can definitely flex if you wanted to, but not when it's on it. Like, you can't flex the booty. Not like boards on the old G Pro I sent him. I should have glued that rear, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I was saying though, it is annoying that they kind of give you multiple, different skate sizes. Each skate has a different size or different style. So, this one to prefab is going to take a while, but actually, but it's good because it's the same as the old M4. These skates will already be out on other manufacturers at the minute, but it would have been nice to have a. I'd have liked a bigger skate here and a bigger skate here, or that option like Glorious have given us. That's what I would have preferred. Right, let's come with these skates then. I try to remember. But when everything is coming back to me, I feel as if my memory is paralyzed. Now let's see. What is the last thing you can remember? We're holding around the same. I don't know. So you got four screws, bit of a shame, but hey ho. What's good is these are the same screws as on the rear panel where it looks like. The front, these are going to easily pull off. A bit like the Pro Ninja style. You're well at. Ooh, starting to see him. <coughs> we have some bad news on the side switches. Um, the side switches aren't looking like KL8s, so I, I was going to give extra fine, extra bonus for that. Extra fine, extra bonus, but I think they've not used. Well, I can tell they haven't used the same switches, which is a bit of a disappointment. Clip on the side there, then you can see that. So a bit difficult. You got to be careful not to snap the base when you pull it up. That's why you use this little splinter. They're going with the old battery cover. Mm. We'll see. So we've got screw here, screw here. We've changed the screw this time. <laughs> mm, Hawanu, uh black shell white dot, that's a shame. We feel decent enough. also the curved leg style so if you want to change them you're gonna to have to get the clippers out use a little trick we did yesterday I mean the white shell black white dot black shells are they're okay they're all right So they've got um, a little bit different here. Well, I've seen a few of them now, but they've got this little, it's that little white bit, little post. It stops it 
going in two fires of the shell, which they had on the other one. You don't put one on the rear one, but it stops it moving in. Kind of gives it a bit more of a, a post stopping switch piece. And they've also got little clips on the top here, which is different. Hmm. And then they've got this, this is a solid bar, which is different. And then they've got the normal switches in. So it's a little bit tricky to get out, I think. Or trickier. There you go. So slightly different setup on the shell for the mounting point. Feels a bit more solid, which I probably feel slightly better. Also got this front piece you can ping off now. So there's two clips here. Go in here. These clips on these mice will be the end of me. Oh, there we go. Quite a complicated shell they got here. Looks pretty well optimized for weight as well. Got a K Swift encoder, we got KL8s, mains, Hawanu. Oh man, they've even got a different one. So on the scroll wheel, we got a Hawanu black shell yellow dot. That looks like it, which is a bit of a shame. The uh, battery won't come loose in this one, but weight reduction, you want to keep it lightweight and you put a massive battery hold on it. Right, so we tried to do the weight um, distribution, didn't we? We undid these screws, we tried to shift it round. So what it does is, now we can see inside here, before I take it apart, it alters, you can see the runner for the battery. So it allows you to move the battery. You can see that one there a bit easier. What it doesn't make it easy for you to do is, because that's what it'll come out with. When you took the top buttons off and the bow panel off, you can probably just finger it in there, <clears throat> so to speak. But you're not gonna be able to pull it back very easily. You can push it forward, but you won't be able to really attract it easily. So, and that's not what it tells you in the manual anyway, but that's what they're trying to do. That's the gimmick here. So you can take this off and then you can I mean it's good that you can do that, but you're gonna to have to manually open it up and do it. Five hundred milliamp, three point seven volt. No surprise, but at least they told us on the packet what it is. Yeah, ten eleven grams. Pretty standard. Yeah, LED for your RGB scroll wheel, baby. PR button, which is basically, we think, polling, right? Yep, turned it on yet, don't know. There is a screw under there, can't I? Sneaky, sneaky. Extra fi. Kind of like the frosted look of that one. It's better than the black one they normally have in. So, that final screw. Yes. We've got two, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 screws. Not bad. The rear switch button.
Same scroll wheel. I'm not a fan of this scroll wheel. I don't like this split rubber. I'm not a fan. And all the extra five mice have them. It's got one hell of a tumbler. Or what do you call it? Spindle. Look at the size of that mofo. Massive. Holy moly, four grams. Yikes. That's definitely coming up the heaviest scroll wheel we've had, I think. Apart from a metal one. The PCB. USB-C, pretty sure you spot that by now. KL8s, and then we've got the K-Swift encoder. Quite like these encoders, not bad. F-Switch Brown, um, it's quite silent. Tends to be in the uh, glorious as well, doesn't it? And then we've got the Hawanu black shell yellow dot so we've got Hawanu white shell uh, Hawanu black shell white dot Hawanu black shell yellow dot and kl in it 11 grams mm, yeah give or take about normal pretty good So they're using an 8mm PCB, lovely jablet, and for the rear, slightly narrow at the rear. The last bit looks like two labels, at least they're drawn under the uh, label, nice to see. Well, kind of, but they didn't hear because of the scroll wheel, which is normal, pretty good. Fairly light though at nine grams that not bad. There we have it. The extra fire wireless torn down. <laughs>